With the world marking 20 years since the Srebrenica massacre, one man has gone back to the place where it all began. David Rode was the first reporter to uncover mass graves, pointing to a campaign of ethnic cleansing during the Bosnian Civil War. 20 years on, he has returned to the scene to remember what he saw near Srebrenica in Bosnia. 20 years ago, the United States released spy photographs, aerial photographs of what they thought were suspected mass graves here in this village in Bosnia, in Nova Kosova. I was a reporter then for the Christian Science Monitor, and I used a copy of those photographs to come here to Nova Kosova and try to find the graves. Abandoned by their UN protectors, 8,000 Muslim men and boys were executed by Bosnian Serb forces over five July days. Their bodies dumped in pits, then dug up months later and scattered in smaller graves in a systematic fashion to conceal the crime. More than 1,000 victims have yet to be found. Rode describes the scene 20 years ago. Uh, we spent two hours looking around this area trying to find the mass graves themselves. There was some areas of fresh digging over there in an adjoining field. We found empty ammunition boxes and shards of paper. One of them was a high school diploma that actually belonged to a Bosnian Muslim who'd been executed. But we didn't find the definitive proof until we came here to this small area. We came down the hill and there was an area of fresh digging right here and jutting out of the ground uh, was a decaying human leg. There was a femur jutting into the air. A UN court has ruled the massacre was genocide. Many Serbs dispute the term, the death toll, and the official account of what went on, reflecting conflicting narratives of the Yugoslav wars that still feed political divisions and stifle progress towards integration with Western Europe. 20 years later, these graves have been exhumed. Thousands of victims have been identified, but there's growing denial among Bosnian Serbs about what happened here. Just this week, Russia vetoed a UN Security Council resolution calling the massacre here genocide. The Serbs and their Russian backers insist this was not a genocide, but the proof is overwhelming. 20 years later, it's a huge disappointment to come back and still have this atrocity be debated. The bones of 136 newly identified victims were interred beneath marble gravestones in the Potokari Memorial Cemetery in eastern Bosnia over the weekend in what has become an annual ritual as the graves are gradually discovered.